In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the site origin CSS plugin to generate CSS snippets for your WordPress website. We will use the generated CSS snippet to style up our header just like this over right here. And as well, I'll show you some tips and tricks on how you can make it responsive on different devices. Well, before we get started, this video is part of a complete tutorial that I created showing you how you can build a WordPress website using Elementor for free. In case you want to check that out, please check out the link in the description of this video. I also want to mention that the methodology I used will apply to any other theme, though specifically in this video I used the Astra theme. But you can use the site origin CSS to generate for you CSS that you can apply anywhere in your WordPress website. So let's get started. To begin with, there is no specific section in the Astra Customizer where we can add a background only to this part of the header, like you see it right over here. Now, that is going to call us to apply a specific CSS to this part of the header. And now, I am going to share with you a, a little trick that I used so that I can only target this part of the header and I apply the color that I want. Of course, you can go ahead and try to inspect. So if I reload this page, I can come over here and say inspect page. And I can go ahead and try to look up for the class of this part of the header. Once I identify the class that I want to target for that part of the header, go into the customizer under the additional CSS section and add the CSS to customize the look of this section of our header. However, if you don't know how to use the browser inspector, I got a little trick for you that you can use. So I'm going to go back over here to my dashboard. I'll come here to plugins. I'll add a new plugin, which is called site origin CSS. It shows up over here, install and then activate. Now the beauty with this plugin is that it enables you to have a visual CSS editor and then later you can copy those classes and you are good to go. So I'm going to come over here to my site origin CSS editor, click on the CSS editor. I'm going to say preview. This will open me up in the preview editor for the page or the home page in this case. And if I want to target this part of the header, which is this in this case, so I select that part of the editor or of the header. And now you see that already that class is selected down below here. So in case I want to target this class for my CSS, I already have that class. Now I can start adding my styling to this CSS class. So in this case, I want to add a background color. So under decoration, I can add my background color code. I'll come here, select the background color. I can simply paste my color code. There you are. So we also want to have a rounded border for this class over here. Uh, to do that, we can come back here to our editor. And then there is an option over here called border radius. So we want the border radius on the right hand side bottom and the left hand side bottom. And we want that border radius to be like a 30 or a 35. So that is for the left hand bottom and right hand bottom. So how are we actually able to position that our elements are in the middle of this background here? So to do that, we are going to come here to layout. And under layout, we can play with the margin. So margin on the left hand side, select that part of the margin. And we can add like, uh, let me say a 200 and you see that now that distance reduces. And now we are going to apply padding on the right hand side because we want to increase some space here so that the button is not really on the border or on the edge of the background. So under pixels on the right hand side, we can add a 50. And you see that is kind of turning back to life. So I'm going to go back here now to the margin select the left hand side option so i'll make this a 250. this looks okayish i hope it will work 
So now how do I confirm these changes so that I can get this CSS and add it to my additional CSS section in Astra. So I'm going to say uh, save, then OK. Now once I say OK, this will take me back to the site origin CSS editor, which is right over here. And I can just simply copy this CSS code, copy. Now remember this has been generated in the process of us adding the styles that we wanted to apply to this part of the header. So now it gives us the CSS instead of you having to write it. And I'm going to now copy this. I'm going to come here to the appearance customizer. I'll open up in the new tab. And there is a section down below here called additional CSS. And here we can paste our CSS that we just generated using the site origin plugin. Come back here to plugins leave this site and I can delete or remove this plugin because I don't need it anymore. Now here when I confirm and say publish, this additional CSS has been added to our header for this specific CSS class and it will have the background color green for the menu items. So when I come back here, reload or simply go back to my home page, you will see that we have that background on our menu items. Now let's go and change the color for the text on normal to white. So back to the header builder, primary menu, under design, come to the text link color, make it white. So I'll say publish, back here, reload, this should change. All looks good. We are further going to make our button to change to white instead of green on hover. So I'll come back here to our customizer, select our button. You can either use the pencil here or simply click over right there. So under design, the button text color is going to be white or normal. On hover, it is going to turn to black. And then the background is going to be orange and on hover, it will turn to white. Okay, like this. And then we are going to also assign a border color. So it's going to be orange and on hover, it's going to be white. We are going to add a border width of two pixels. So border width of two pixels. Uh, a border radius will be 25 pixels. And that's it all for now for our button. I'll simply come back here, publish. Let's go and have a preview. There the preview comes up or our page loads up and on hover, our button looks way better and stands out. So the other part that we had to look into is our background over here to see that it actually displays really well on the different devices. You remember we created our CSS using the site origin CSS plugin, but that did not give us a responsive CSS code. So we had to add media queries for the different devices. So for example, uh, the tablet and the mobile. And how do you do that? Going back here to our additional CSS option or feature, I had to add this you know, code over here. So this is a media query for the tablet devices uh, with a minimum width of 800 and 481 pixels and maximum width of 767 pixels. For example, on the tablet device, I changed the border radius. And as well, I made changes to the margin on the left hand side. If I remove this three, you'll see that now we have more space right over here, which is unnecessary. So that's why it is very important to make sure that you make the relevant changes on the different devices where your website will be viewed. Now the last CSS is for a media query or for the devices that are having a maximum width of 480 pixels. This CSS will apply to the mobile devices in that width range. Over right here, I maintain the border radius to 15 pixels. And obviously if you change this to like a 20, just look on the left hand side, there it changes, but I want to keep it at 15 pixels and just the same like for the margin and the padding. Thank you so much for watching. I hope now you have an idea on how you can generate CSS snippets for your WordPress website. 
please keep in mind that these CSS snippets are not responsive and that means that you have to take an extra step to target the relevant media queries to see that the affected changes are also responsive and look good on different devices. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Have a good time and goodbye.